Hi, this is Rob with Lisa and Rob's Travel Adventures. Uh, Lisa and I are walking through the woods here in uh, Portland, Maine. I just had a few camper van tips and ideas that had come to mind that I thought I'd share with you. So as you know, uh, Lisa and I did some serious traveling here uh, over the last few months. We did a couple of cross-country road trips, just having a blast and um, you know, seeing some comments on YouTube, but really talking to a lot of friends and family. Um, everybody's saying, oh, they've always wanted to do that. And when this and that happens, um, they're going to be excited to uh, to go out and, and do what we did. And we've been an inspiration. And But the one thing I just wanted to say was everybody... It's like when it's like having kids. You keep waiting for the perfect time. The time is never perfect. And uh, my thought was, <laughs> just go. That's what we did. Um, this young lady beside me, I was really happy and lucky um, that she was she was willing to do that. I mean, the first time we went, you know, we went in in a Mazda, folded the back seat down, and took off for a month. So the time is never perfect. I would love to have everything set up perfectly. Um, but you learn when you go out, which is why I think you should just go. So then uh, when we got back from our Mazda trip, um, we knew exactly what we wanted. We thought a minivan would be the perfect thing. Um, so we bought the uh, Toyota Sienna. Um, we took all the seats out, built some beds in there. Um, put some bins in for clothing and brought a gas grill with us to cook on but you know that didn't work out we had to uh, you know out in the middle of our trip we're just changing course as we go we're learning on the fly here um, just having a blast but uh, so so we changed the cooking systems there um, and we I think we changed our uh, laundry system okay we got to buy this and you know, just little things that you buy when you're out there. You learn as you go. Jump right in with both feet. If I could give advice to anybody, it would be that. If we can go out in a Mazda for months on end, come back and go out in a van for months on end, just learn as you go. That would be my biggest piece of advice. So I guess the whole point that we're trying to make here is don't wait till everything's perfect. It's it's probably never going to be. I see I see YouTube videos of people you know having uh, you know building out vans, and I get you know there's a difference too between people that are building out their vans to live in or people that are building out their vans to camp in. But if you're building if you're building it out to go camping, pull the seats out, throw a futon mattress in there, and go. Um, you're going to learn what you need as you go. There's no time like the present, especially if you are in our situation. We're in the Northeast. It's going to start getting cold here and snowing, so it's August. Now's the time. Hop in the van, hop in your car, um, station wagon. If you've got a small compact car, fold down the seats and go. Don't try to sleep in the front seat. That just doesn't work out. Especially if you are thinking about spending some money. Um, before you spend a ton of money, just go see if you even like living like that, camping like that. Um, you, you never know. Uh, you never know until you try. That's right. Um, there's always a store out there. Um, Walmart's, I'll tell you, Walmart serves so many purposes for us. We'd be looking for a place to sleep, and we knew that there was some uh, improvements that we wanted to do to the van, some more things that we wanted to do. Um, uh, purchase to make things a little bit easier for us so just get out go for a ride go for a road trip pull into the woods get some sleep but give it all a shot thank you very much for watching let me ramble while I walk through the woods if you like videos like this please hit the subscribe button We'll talk to you again real soon.